The second shooter released in December of 1990 comes courtesy of the Mega Drive's original third-party publisher, Technosoft. The intro cinema to Elemental Master is a nice touch, though it's a bit jarring as we're clearly joining the story after some very important developments. Basically, what you need to know is King Lorelei has been tricked and imprisoned. Jira here is the one who did it. And he's overthrown the city of Lorelei by freeing a horde known as the Harvesters of Jira. Laden, a knight, is the only one left who can save Lorelei. Oh, and Laden and Jira are brothers. Elemental Master is unique in a few ways. Not only is your character completely landlocked, but you're not playing as any sort of ship or tank. You are Laden, traipsing through a series of vertically scrolling levels, laying waste to anything that gets in your way. Or anything in your wake, for that matter. Success in Elemental Master depends on Laden watching his six. He's able to shoot both in front and behind, by alternating between the A and B buttons on the controller. And while watching your back in a scrolling shooter isn't anything new, having full control over which direction you're firing definitely makes the game feel fresh and forces you to play in a whole different way to previous shooters on the Mega Drive. At the beginning of Elemental Master, you get to choose between one of four stages. Upon defeating each stage boss, you're rewarded with its elemental weapon. You can then switch weapons at will in subsequent levels. These new elemental weapons can be charged to fire more powerful projectiles or effects that damage every enemy on screen. The story bits continue throughout the game. Early on, Laden saves a fairy named Nina. As you progress into the end game sequence, once you've beaten the four opening levels, she reveals herself to be the reincarnation of the legendary ring that controls the elements, and gives her powers to Laden. Now you're in control of the mighty Light Element.
Elemental Master is a bit on the weird side, and it doesn't drip with the level of quality you'd expect from a Technosoft game on the Mega Drive. But it's still pretty darn good, and if nothing else, its uniqueness makes it worth playing. I especially like how each press of the fire button results in a burst of fire, meaning a continuous stream of rapid fire shots doesn't require superhuman reflexes or a special controller. I also really dig how the relatively lengthy story scenes have been incorporated into the game. We weren't seeing a lot of that on the Mega Drive up until this point. Elemental Master did get a US release, though it took publisher renovation almost three years to bring the game stateside. It's a pity, because it most likely felt pretty dated by then. Had this game been released in North America before Sonic hit, halfway through 1991, I think it would be more fondly remembered today. 